Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I thought I'd do a really simple, quick tutorial on how to use curves because I actually realized that although I use it a lot in my tutorials, I've never actually given it a proper explanation um, as to how it works or um, what you can actually do with it. So I thought now would be a really good time to do that. Um, so I'm going to start off just by saying that curves is probably one of the most powerful tools in Photoshop, especially for photographers and in changing what your image looks like. So I'm going to show you guys what it actually does. Uh, so down here, just where we have the adjustments, we're going to create an adjustment layer for curves. So this is always the best way to do it. So you can change it afterwards or get rid of the layer if you don't want it anymore. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and now I'm going to demonstrate what it actually does. So what you can actually do with curves is you can change the shadows, the highlights, the midtones and the coloring of the photo. So basically you can do with one tool with using curves what you could do with using say an adjustment layer of levels of color balance of exposure brightness and contrast pretty much a lot of those adjustments can all be done in the one adjustment layer of curves okay so I'm gonna explain how you can actually change your lighting of the photograph so there is one line that goes diagonally here down here is your shadows up here is your highlights and around this area here is the midtones of the image so you basically can map out what you want with your photograph as far as lighting is concerned so I'll just demonstrate so this one if I make a little marker down here this is going to change a lot of the shadows in the photograph because it's down that end of the spectrum if I move if I click up here and make a marker up here and move it above this line it will change the highlights so I did forget to mention that down here will be the darker aspects of the photo, up here will be the lighter. So if you move the markers below the line, it will get darker, above it will make it lighter. So and you can, as I said, map it out. Um, so you can bring the midtones up even more if you want, or you can even bring the highlights right down so there's not a lot of white in the photograph. Or you can even bring the shadows up here. So you can make it like give it a vintage kind of effect. There's so many different looks that you can give the photo just by using curves, just one tool. And this is why I use it so much in my work. But um, as you can see, we'll just map out, just changing the lighting a little bit in the photograph. I'm going to kind of go for a bit of a vintage effect with this one. So yeah, that's pretty much how you change the lighting. Um, you can type in numbers down the bottom here and make, so on each marker. Okay, and you can save this as a preset also if you're happy with this lighting or you'd like to apply this to other photographs. And you can just do that by clicking here and saying save curves preset and clicking on that. And you can also load presets into here as well. So if you've downloaded presets, uh, this is where they'll come up just in here. So... Another thing you can do with curves, as I mentioned before, is you can change the colouring of the photograph. So we have three different channels here. We have red, green and blue. So we'll just start off with red first. And this is going to determine how much red will be in the photograph um, and also how much blue. Because as you can see, moving the markers above the line will change the midtones and the highlights to red. And then moving this below, we'll change it to blue. So we're gonna, just going to change it really slightly. Just a little bit. And as I said, you can move these up so you can give the shadows more color, which I might actually do for this shot. Okay, and then we'll go to the green channel. And this will be greens and pinks. So green above the line, pink below the line. I'm just going to slightly make some adjustments. Not too many because I think I was pretty happy with how it was going. <laughs> okay. And you can change the highlight color as well, but I think we're just going to leave that as is. Just change that to there. 
and then the blue channel. So above the line will be blue and below the line will be yellow. So All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm just going to zoom out and take a snapshot. Where's my history tab? And show you guys what it looked like beforehand. And this is what it looks like now. So before and after. So yeah, there's so many different things that you can do with curves. It's such a powerful tool, as I said before. And I would definitely recommend for any of you guys to use it in your work um, because it really helps. Um, and it's really interesting to see what you can come up with just by using one tool. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. It's just a very short tutorial today. And I hope that it really helped you guys out if you had any questions about curves. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.